It's about seven mm. o'clock and Rob managed to spot three cubs and a female lion at the top of this big red dune and managed to get about five minutes of footage which was wonderful and yeah first spot of the day yeah we've been hoping to see these cubs because we've i've heard about them i saw them on facebook and everything they uh used to be a little bit into the dunes um but i'm glad they have reappeared but yeah they were playing when we saw them the cubs were running up and down the dune but we had to come around to this side so it took us a bit of time but we had luckily got a little bit of footage and now they've just gone over the dune heading in that direction so they might reappear they might the water hole's quite a distance that way maybe they'll head that way i don't know hard to tell but we'll hang around a bit first in case they come back out and then we'll start moving slowly in the direction they were going but yeah lovely lovely to see them very cool yeah having good luck with the lions We've just stopped at Melkflay for a quick cup of coffee. Uh, Andy's there busy making my coffee at the back of the vehicle. Poor Barry is uh, taking a bit of strain. Um, he's done nearly 100,000 kilometers uh, with not a single issue, but on this trip, the interior lights stopped working and um, our trip odometer resets every time we restart the car so it, i thought it was a fuse but i checked them they seem fine we did at one point smell um burning plastic while we were driving so something has gone wrong poor barry, poor barry. and oh and then also my but this is not barry's fault this is my door my handle has come has stopped working so I have to use the inside handle to open this door I know what that is uh, it was a small part I had to 3d print to connect the handle to the mechanism inside and that's obviously failed I I could probably fix it but it would be quite a job so I'll probably leave that till till I get home yeah not nice to have issues but at least it's nothing serious how's the coffee coming Andrew Andrew. Okay, I want to show you this cup that Rob won't replace. It's uh, been used for the last seven years on every trip we've been on and it is the most beautiful cup you've ever seen. There's nothing wrong with that cup, Andy. Oh, no. It's perfect. Fully functional and because it's so uh, stained you don't need to wash it because it just it looks the same whether it's dirty or clean. True. You see. Yeah. All right, so we're going to head just now. What are we going to do? We're going to slowly head back to camp, I suppose. See if we find anything. Yeah, a couple of leopards, maybe oh, caracal. Love a leopard. Would love a leopard. It's hard work here. The sightings are, you know, you've got to work for them. You've got to put in the hours. And, but then every now and then there's something just absolutely amazing. Like this so, bird. Like this bird. Gotcha. Hello. Hello, little friend. That's the job I want when I grow up. Driving this uh, big grader up and down, uh, dragging the tires. He's, uh, first of all, the most liked person in this park because he gets rid of all the uh, horrible corrugations and second of all his job is basically driving up and down he's got this high 360 degree view you must see the most incredible things so one day when I'm done with this filming gig I'm gonna apply for that job might get hot but don't know if he's got aircon what do you think Andy think I'm think I can do it no, considering I'm the driver, I think it should be my role um, running. Pay attention, Rob. Um, okay. Um, filming some red hartebeest. Yeah, it's a nice. We, we've seen occasional hartebeest, but always at a distance and always uh, lone animals. 
This is quite a nice herd with a very big dark male and two youngsters. Uh, they want to get to the waterhole, but the cars keep coming past. I'm sure they'll they'll hang around for a while. So what do you think, Rob? I think we've had a successful morning, Andy. The, and I'm hoping that Lioness with the Cubs will come back this afternoon, back out of the dunes. And I'm hoping she'll continue in the direction they were heading last night and end up at our Roy Putz water hole by tomorrow morning. That would be ideal. <coughs> okay, so I was taking my afternoon shower, nice cold one, and uh, Rob starts shouting, um, it's time to go film. So I'm like, relax dude, I'm just, you know, I need five minutes here. So I walk slowly back to the car and he says, watch out for that Cape Co Cobra over there. <laughs> Yeah, the crows were making a big racket so I just had a look with the binoculars and they were going for this poor little snake. It's right in campsite one. The couple that were staying here just left this morning. Um, so we'll definitely send them a photo of the Cape Cobra checking out their campsite. And this is just a very good opportunity to remember to zip up tents and Close doors and windows. These things can go in a car and you don't want to discover one when you're driving at 120 k's an hour on the freeway. But it's great because it's the first snake we've seen. We've been, um, I've been looking for snakes without any luck. There aren't that many about at the moment. So really nice to see one. So I've established why Barry was unwell. This light bulb, it's a LED replacement, um, and that little bit fits into the actual bulb socket, and then the, the light's a separate piece. And it's, uh, it must have worn through one of the wires and short-circuited, and it's melted everything in there melted a bit into the plastic and the actual switch is gone but at least we can get everything else working now our odometer will work again and so will the other light so life is good Andrew yes Robert how's the fire coming along tonight it's great I've lost my head torch Andy's lost his head torch I've been trying to explain to Andy that everything needs to have its place and you should never put anything down somewhere that isn't its place. How do you feel about that Andy? Have you learned a lesson? <laughs> Alright, so we are making a fire Oh, well, we've made a fire. We're waiting for it to burn down a bit. Then we're going to cook some burrovos sausage, wrap it in bits of bread, make a potato salad, and have our dinner. Um, we're very organized here. There we go. All right, say goodbye. Ciao.